Hi everyone, welcome to today's Pick a Pile video. Today we're asking, are they thinking about you? If you're new to the channel, I'd like to say that I do Thomas readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new Pick a Pile videos on Sundays. Also, I do want to say that if you guys have any topic that you're particularly interested, I would love to see that in the comment section below so that I can make a video on it in the future. And as always, if you're interested in a personal reading, the link is in the description below. But without any further ado, pile number one is the Influences of the Angels Tarot. Pile number two is the Wisdom Seekers Tarot. And pile number three is the Mystic Mondays Tarot. So I'm just going to give you guys a little bit more time to decide. Alright, so if you haven't decided, please pause the video or do whatever you need to do in order to decide. But we are going to get started on pile number one. All right, so if you picked pile number one, you are in the right place. I do wanna take this time to remind you guys that if you enjoy the reading or if you enjoy the pile, please leave a like or a comment because it's the best way for me to know. But your overall energy here is the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups talks a lot about possible disappointments. So I think that perhaps this is a person that you've had some kind of a history with in the past, and that's why they're thinking about you. The Five of Cups may, it, it very much oozes like the one that got away kind of energy. So certainly I feel that this person is thinking about you in that context, especially if it's a romantic feeling. Uh, but I'm almost seeing that there might be some kind of messages moving forward, right? Because we have the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands, as well as the Page of Swords, and those three energies to me would resonate, or rather would have me believe that there's gonna be this energy of moving forward, right? And in case you skipped the shuffling process right before this, a bunch of cards fell out, and on top of that pile, they all fell facing up was the Chariot. So, even though I don't take those cards, that energy very much stood out to me. And I feel like that's the kind of energy that you guys are in right now. There's definitely this energy of they are thinking about you. And in fact, I feel like they want to come forward because, right, the Page of Swords is a very fast page. And here with the Seven of Cups, like the Seven of Cups is the fantasy card. So regardless of if they want to come forward or not, I know that this is kind of becoming a reading on that they're certainly thinking about you and you're running through their mind all day like this is a very cheesy person the kind of person that would say um something along the effect of oh do you ever get tired running through my thoughts all day right and like with the nine of wands the ace of wands the two of wands there's a lot of fiery passionate energy here right the nine of wands here talks about the wounded warrior 
But I feel like there's a very weird spin on it. Uh, this person here in the picture really looks like to me like the the hide the pain herald guy that one meme with the um, the the person that has sort of that exact look so i feel like this person even though they like they must have a really weird sense of humor i feel like they're very adaptable in their sense of humor as well and i feel like they take this whole situation you know with grace and with humor because the knight of wands is the wounded warrior so i feel like they're doing a lot of healing behind the scenes i feel like especially if you haven't really talked to them uh i'm getting almost like a separation between you two but certainly regardless of if you're talking or not there is like that thinking of you like if you talk and then you leave and then they're like oh i wonder if they found my joke funnier or maybe they're sending you memes but i'm certainly getting that there the, there's the launch for a new beginning here with the ace of swords or rather ace of wands and like the movement between the Ace of Wands into the Two of Wands, that's a very powerful movement. I feel like the only concern here is this Five of Cups where it's like they're concerned that this isn't gonna work out. And like the only other concerning energy here is this Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like the fact that the Queen of Cups is in reverse here, it feels like this person is very emotionally unsure of what they wanna do I feel like if it was the Queen of Cups in the upright, they'd be very receptive and open and emotionally sure, but the fact that it's in reverse leads me to believe that there, there's, like, confusion. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you might be doing that sort of, like, are we friends, are we more than friends kind of energy, right? Like, it's certainly not black and white where it's, like, friends and then, like, more than friends there's sort of like some gray area here i feel and that's why there's a lot of this confusion and probably a lot of this thinking like that's why they're thinking about you they're very much in a love context and i feel like um you kind of do that to them like i had a thought and it just completely flew out of my mind and i feel like that's kind of what you do uh because i feel like this person is very much used to having their feet on the ground and then when they talk to you, it's like they're uh, suddenly really spacey, really airhead, like total space cadet. And I feel like you're doing that to them, and that's why they're in this Queen of Cups in reverse energy. But that was your reading for this pile. You guys are more than welcome, however, to go back and choose another pile if you want. But if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Because I personally really love to know if these readings resonate. But like I said before, I upload my new Pick a Pile videos on Sundays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings. And with that, we're moving on to pile number two. All right, hi, pile number two. Uh, if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. I do wanna mention uh, right before I start the reading that if you enjoy, please leave a like or a comment. It's the best way for me to know. But your overall energy here, which is very interesting, is the moon card. Now, I do wanna bring up that the moon card is the uh, card of Pisces, as well as the strength card here being the card of Leo, right? So you might be dealing with somebody who is who has very heavy Pisces energy or very heavy Leo energy, but the signs don't necessarily have to resonate. Uh, that's just extra confirmation if they do. But like I was saying, with this moon card, I certainly feel that there's something that they're not telling you. And that to me feels like this person is in fact thinking about you and they're not telling you about it, right? It, it's very much secretive, especially if it's like in a, the context of a relationship, 
or somebody who you might have a crush on or they may have a crush on you because you know how there's people that flirt where they're like hey I picked this up because it reminded me of you or hey uh, I saw this funny picture uh, it reminded me of that time and they're and they flirt that way by like saying oh this reminded me I was thinking about you that this person certainly isn't like that um, especially here with the eight of cups this feels very much internal to me especially since we have this so with the eight of pentacles actually you may have worked with this person or are currently working with this person i feel like the more common outcome or the more common scenario is that you guys worked with this person in the past and they left because the eight of pentacles talks about focusing on your skills and your work right and the eight of cups talks about walking away now because it's in reverse it almost it almost feels like this person left but they're sort of stuck energetically back there and i feel like in part it has to do with the fact that like the work could have been soul crushing in a way so it feels like they're still lingering there but i feel like more than that it like they're thinking about you and the stuff that you were doing at work either that or they see you at work or they see you working on some kind of skill and they're like wow that's amazing and there's this feeling of not wanting to walk away not wanting to leave a situation here with the eight of cups and it's very interesting because we have the four of cups here with the judgment card and that to me is a very powerful combination because the four of cups um don't be afraid by the language that i use but it talks about dissatisfaction. It talks about wanting more. It talks about, you know, not being happy with what you have currently. And, you know, that may sound negative, but it almost feels like it's this person really likes you and they want more into a relationship. Right? I, I feel like this person is certainly thinking about that and certainly putting that sort of spin on things. Um... And with the judgment here, I feel like they're just concerned that you might not recipro reciprocate the feelings, right? Because there's this feeling of not wanting to walk away, and there's also this feeling of being afraid of being judged. And that's causing conflict, you know? And that's why... And, like, this conflict is certainly inner, and it's... I know that because we have the, the moon card here, so there's certainly this energy of things that you're not being told... And it's this internal conflict that they're having. And they're trying to be strong and sort of put up with it. Because I feel like they envision this outcome here with this uh, Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment. I feel like this person wants to have sort of the happily ever after. But it's a matter of figuring out all this. I feel like this person is trying to work up the strength to even talk to you. And that's in part why you have all this wacky energy but if your question is are they thinking about you certainly they certainly are it's just a matter of time actually before this person speaks up and that's only because they have the strength card and this judgment card fighting uh because they're trying to work up the guts to talk to you about this about this sort of more than friend situation here but they're worried that you're gonna be not very receptive or negatively receptive to the situation so certainly if this is something that you're interested in i would recommend possibly talking to them a little bit sort of breaking the ice a little bit because i feel like that'll help in the long run but all in all it looks okay it looks pretty good you know it's not bad or anything it's just typical uh, things that happen when you become infatuated with another person but that was your reading for this pile you're more than welcome to go back and choose another pile if you want, though. Also, I do want to remind you guys to please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out and i really love to know. But like I said before, I upload my new videos uh, for Pick a Pile readings on Sundays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings. And with that, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading and moving on to pile number three.
All right. Hi, pile number three. If you chose pile number three, you're in the right place. And I do want to remind you guys that if you enjoy the reading, the best way f to let me know is to leave a like or a comment. And I really like reading the comments. Um, but your overall energy here is the Ace of Wands here. Now, the Ace of Wands is a phenomenal energy, right? Uh, it is very interesting, though, because the Aces, or rather the, the Wands, aren't so much about thinking as they are taking action. Right, so I feel like looking more at these water cards, there's sort of this wanting to take action, um, or rather thinking. There's the thinking with these water cards, and there's more the want to take action with this Ace of Wands. But I'm just going to sort of talk on that a little bit later. I do want to bring up this High Priestess because the High Priestess is a very powerful card, especially when it comes to intuition. I feel like this person on an intuitive level really thinks that you guys are soulmates because we have the King of Cups as well as the Queen of Cups, right? So we have the matching pair of a suit. And whenever we see that kind of energy, we know that it's strong um, twin flame or even just soulmates energy. And on top of that, we have the Empress. So I feel like this person views you as an Empress. So in their mind, they're like, I don't want to let her get away. And I believe it was pile number one where I said they felt like it was the one that got away. So I feel like there's very similar energy going on here. Um, I feel like certainly this is the... If, if it isn't an actual man... It's sort of like the Divine Masculine kind of energy here. I, I don't really talk a whole lot about Twin Flames, but I certainly feel that for some of you, you may be in a Twin Flame union. And they're certainly off in their own kind of headspace in their High Priestess energy, really doing a lot in the way of mentally preparing for this kind of connection, right? Because it's very interesting. Even when I saw this Temperance card fly out for the first time, well, first off, let me explain what the Temperance card in the upright means. The Temperance card in the upright talks about balance in proportions. So whereas the Justice will speak of like a 50-50 split or like black and white, it's very even, the Temperance talks about moderation and proportions, right? So it's the difference between using a recipe and just putting in one pound of every single ingredient, right? And I feel like this person really wants to do a lot of work, uh, especially here with the Six of Coins, right? The Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles talks about generosity. So the fact that they have sort of this moderation card in reverse with this Six of Coins, um, I it's called the Six of Pentacles in this deck. Uh, in some decks, it's called the Six of Coins, but I really want to call it the Six of Coins for some reason. Uh, I'm really getting that this person wants to come forth with money because I keep saying coins. They might talk about money and use the word coins, um, but I certainly get that this person is willing to do more than their fair share of work in order to get this connection off the ground. All three of these readings have turned into sort of very romantic connections. I know that not all connections are, but certainly with the symbolism of the king and the queen and the ten of cups and the empress with the high priestess, like I feel like it's a lot of that sort of divine connection energy. And like the ten of cups, like I was saying, it talks about, um, I want to say wish fulfillment. It That wasn't where I was going with it, but I feel like you may be their wish fulfillment, even though that's more the Nine of Cups. But the Ten of Cups in particular refers to emotional fulfillment. So I feel like, and like, I, it's not lost on me that the king and queen that showed up are the emotional ones. The emotional king with the emotional queen. So I feel like this person really wants, really feels a different kind of connection with you on an emotional level. And they're really not ready to let that go. And that's why they're thinking about you so much. And I feel like they see you um, and they're like, wow, this person has the potential to be my empress. And it's very interesting that this 
queen is holding a cup, uh, like is holding the cup in the same way that this empress is holding this pomegranate. And I feel like with all this energy in mind, like they're thinking about it and they want to move forward here with this ace of wands. Like this person is certainly the most likely out of the three groups to do some kind of action towards you, take some kind of action because not only do I see the thoughts, I see that they think about you extremely highly and then there's this here which is action on top of that. Also, I looked at the timer on the video and it was at 2112, so there might be some kind of mirroring with here. Um, and certainly like, the king is on the far side and the queen is on the other far side. So there's, it's almost like they're looking at each other, even though I know that the queen is looking away and the king is sort of looking in this direction, but there's this energy of mirroring each other. And I feel like this is a very powerful connection. Um, and they're thinking about you probably all day and all night because of this empress. A very powerful energy. I cannot overstate that enough. But that was your reading for this pile. If you guys want to go back and read another pile, you're more than welcome to. I would love to see you guys leave a comment or a like. But like I said before, I upload my new videos for pick a piles on Sundays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other time's readings. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for next reading.